Hey guys, it's Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a revision video. A video on revision. What the hell is revision? How do we revise? Okay, that was really bad for someone that makes music. But today we're gonna be talking about revision. What the heck is revision? What the hell is revision? How the hell do we do it? How do we imply it into our manifestation journeys? How do we use it to our advantage? Okay, okay, let's get going. Hey. Um, so I was thinking about doing a video a video on revision and I wanted to see other people's take on revision and I found this one website that I believe with a lot what they were saying so that's here right here. Um, I just wanted to say that if you're looking for someone else to watch or listen to or whatever they are really good. I really liked them. What is revision? Revision is deciding something that happened in the past happened differently or not at all and this is done to change feelings, thoughts, memories, and honestly consequences of what happened. So say you had a big fight with your SP. That's a good one. That's a good one. So you and your SP had a huge fight, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And now they're not talking to you. And now you're like, oh my God, what did I do wrong? Like I've been affirming for this. I've been manifesting this, what did I do wrong? And you are freaking out and you're like, what do I do? This is where you would want to put revision into place. And revision is different than affirming because affirming is a consistent thing that you do all the time, every day. And with revision, Sometimes you only have to do it once. Sometimes you have to do it consistently. It's really dependent on the situation and how much you are dwelling on the situation. Oh my God, I just realized my shorts. We're just gonna ignore that, guys. So what you will wanna do if this happened is you will wanna tell yourself, you know what? I know that on the timeline we fought and we are not talking anymore because of this fight, but in my reality, in my mind, we didn't fight. Instead, what happened was we actually talked about how much we loved each other and we planned a date together. I'm so happy. Oh my God, it's so great to see how much my SP loves me. Oh my God, they love me so much. I love it. That's what you wanna do. So you want to erase the past, kind of like this. Give me a pen and a damn paper. I'm like, oh no, the argument happened. Oh no, what do we do now? So the argument happened here, whatever. This is the timeline, my timeline's moving on, whatever. But you decide, hey, you know what? I don't like what happened. I don't like what happened on my timeline. Let's just erase that. That didn't happen because I don't want to argue with my SP. That didn't cause me any benefits. So let's just erase that and let's write something over it. Maybe I love you. Now, instead of the argument, we've decided that you guys talked about how much you loved each other. That is literally it. Now, if we're, this is the timeline and we're going on the timeline, we're not focusing on any argument happening because the argument's gone. It says, I love you. It's, you guys talked about you love each other so much, so much, so much. So we're not dwelling on an argument because where the hell do you see argument on this paper? Nowhere. The argument's gone. The argument's gone because you say it's gone. So stupid analogy, but that's literally it. It's like you're erasing what happened in the past and putting something over it because you decide. Um, and this will help with people's feelings. This will help with people's memories. This will help with the consequences of what happened. Because if you're revising that instead of that argument, you guys talked about how much you love each other, that's exactly what's going to show up in the 3D. And it's not going to be an argument. It's going to be, oh my God, I, I, miss, I miss you. I love you so much. I'm so sorry that happened. Now, this is my personal opinion. A lot of people have different takes on revision. My personal opinion is that we revise for the future. So if something happens on the timeline, it doesn't necessarily get removed immediately. It's not gonna change everything as soon as you revise. You're not gonna wake up the next morning and the fight is, or that, for example, the fight is just completely gone, it never happened. In my opinion, it helps the future. Now, this is not saying that you can't change the past of manifesting. I've never tried though. I've never tried to change the past of manifesting. I've always looked at revision as something that's gonna help the future. So I'm not gonna say that you can't re revise the past, but be careful with what you revise because people have asked me if they can revise some crazy things. Then I'm like, I don't even wanna jump into that can of worms. Like things you couldn't even imagine, guys. Like I'm telling you right now, things you couldn't even imagine that you're like, oh, well, if you can revise anything, if you knew what some of these people are trying to revise, you would, your jaw would hit the floor. I haven't tried to change the past with manifesting. I, I mean, I haven't tried to change the past with revision. I've only looked at it as I'm changing people's feelings, thoughts, memories, consequences, and I'm helping my future self. That is the thing. But you cannot go into revision expecting the immediate second you revise, everything that happened on the timeline is gone. That's not what's going to happen. You have to stay consistent in it and you have to, you have to let go of the old story. If you keep, if you have revised something, say you went negative in your bank account and you revised that you didn't, you're so rich, you have so much money, you actually got a transfer of like a billion dollars in your bank account. But if you keep dwelling on the fact that you have no money in your account, you're acknowledging the old story, which is going to continue to show up and continue to manifest. So when you revise, and I'm not saying in situations like that, you can't acknowledge the 3D when you need to, but you can acknowledge and do whatever you need to do in the 3D 
well, in your 40, in your mind, you're still living consistently. So in that situation, obviously you have bills to pay. Obviously you need to buy food. Obviously there's things that you have to take care of. Do that. Do what you need to do to do that. But in your mind, you're affirming you're a billionaire and you've never gone in the negative. So that would, that's what you're going to do. So the biggest thing is revision is just deciding something happened differently to benefit you. To benefit your manifestation, to help you move along, to cause less spiraling, to create a platform that is better to build off of things like that. Now, a lot of people say that they don't think revision works. They're like, it's not working. It's not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You have to understand manifestation is perfect. It literally is perfect. There's no like, oh, well, you, this isn't good for you. So you're not going to get it. No, that's bullshit. That saying is bullshit. If you want something and you're affirming for it, you will have it unless you're not affirming correctly for it. You're not living in the end. So when people say that revision isn't working for them, Revision is working. You are just not consistently persisting on what you want to revise. If you feel like you've been manifesting for a long time and you're, and it's not working, you have to self-reflect and be like, what am I doing wrong? What am I not being consistent in? Because right now, because manifesting is perfect. And if something is not falling into place, it's something I'm doing. So with revision, if you are revising and you're like, this isn't changing, this isn't changing, it's one, probably because you're acknowledging that there's no change. And two, you're not revising. You are thinking that you're revising, saying it a few times, and then dwelling on the story the rest of the times. So focus on your thoughts and your assumptions because your assumptions will manifest, even if you don't want them to, even if you have no intention of them to manifest, even if you're trying to manifest something completely different or revise something completely different, whatever you persist on will be come a fact in this reality oh my gosh so sorry for always doing these little things but i just want to say like if you think revision isn't working that doesn't mean it's not working it is revision is always working Aff affirmations are always working so if you're not getting the results you want you have to ask yourself if you are revising and affirming the right things because revision is always working but you if you're constantly focusing on the old story and dwelling on the 3d that's what's going to show up. So you have to ask yourself, okay, this isn't working. So what am I doing wrong? Because it is working. Manifesting is working. It's just what you're doing isn't. So that's something that I was trying to say, but I did not get that point across. So worry about your assumptions. And just to sum up revision overall, revision is basically deciding something happened differently to change the outcome of it and to help your future self and things like that. Also, quick tip. Even if something happens and you're like, there's no point in revising this. I'm using one of my friend's stories. So hi, if you're watching this, I'm using your story. Um, he was manifesting this girl and for their, his birthday, this girl didn't really do anything. Like didn't really wish him a happy birthday. Didn't really get him any, like he just totally didn't show up the way that she, he wanted her to. But instead of dwelling on this, he revised it. He revised it and was like, you know what? Uh-uh. She didn't forget my birthday. She remembered it, of course. The next year, guys, this girl went all out for his birthday. Like, was, like, hiding a present from him and, like, planned his birthday stuff and his a dinner and planned, like, a date for them, basically. And all because he revised. But in that situation a year ago, do you think he was, like, there's a, any point to revise because my birthday's already passed? That probably crossed his mind. That probably crosses a lot of your minds. You're like, well, it's already passed, so why would I revise it? This situation is done no 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 revision can always help you in the future and in that case it came back and helped him so you should revise even if you feel like you shouldn't also a big part of manifesting is turning the bad into good and the good into better that's something that neville always says but that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i explained this well i feel like i was all over the place but every time i go back and like edit a video that i felt like i was all over the place with i literally pinpoint perfect literally got it so i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions make sure to ask down below um as always watching this video has helped you manifest say it with me watching this video has helped me manifest watching this video has helped me manifest and i'll see you guys soon